Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a translator in Scratch. Yes, one that can translate to any language and from any language. Well, not really from any language, but if you change your language here, then, well, there's a lot of languages. I, I, I never saw that. Well, if you change your language from here, then you can translate from any language to any other language. So if you want to know how to make a translator in Scratch, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And let's get on with the video. So the first thing we need is our trusty when green flag click block. And the only way we're actually going to translate is with the only translating block in the whole of Scratch. This one from the translating extension. If you're wondering how I got these extensions, press this purple button at the bottom that says add extension when I hover and then press translate. You'll need Wi-Fi, so make sure to turn on your internet connection so that you can use the translate extension properly. So let's keep Slovak. It says translate hello to Slovak, nice language. So we want to ask what language you want to translate to. That's the first question. And then we have two variables, the language variable and the text variable. Both of them are for all sprites. So we want to set the language to the answer of this question. So if you answer Arabic, then Arabic will be saved in the language. So duplicate all of this. And instead of what language do you want, you want to put a join block. And no, we're not putting apple banana. That would be silly. You need to put, what do you want to translate to? That's it. And then you add a space at the end so that there's a space between the next word. Then on the banana slot, you add another join apple banana block. Now here, you want to write the language. And then in the banana slot, you just write a question mark. So if I chose Arabic, it would say, what do you want to translate to Arabic? Question mark, which is what we want. And make sure to change this. We do not want to set language to your answer. We want to set the text to the answer. Now that we have all of the things we need and variables, we need to actually translate. So you can output this in any way you want, but I'm going to use the say block. So we do not want to say hello. We want to say the translate our text variable, which is what we want to translate into the language. So if you typed in the language correctly, then it will tell you what the text is in the language you want. So let's just test this out. So if I press the green flag, what language do I want to translate to? Let's put Slovak. Make sure you spell it correctly. And what should I translate to Slovak? Um, banana. And there you go. Hopefully that's correct. It's banan, I think. If any of you know how to pronounce that, then just tell me how to do it in the comments. Just do it. I don't know how. I'm probably wrong. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a pretty short video, to be honest. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.